Will he make it? My dream was like just have like a skate park in my backyard, you know, like same as on my garage, but like a real one, you know. I think it was just like the sound of the ground too, you know, like when I'm like I was kind of like sleeping there on my like the sofa here, like everything's there. So I was just skating on my like room, you know. Sim, lembro muito bem quando ele ganhou o primeiro skate. Nossa, foi muita, muita alegria, muita diversão. Ele não queria dormir com aquele skate, porque no dia seguinte era, nossa, era skate pela minha cozinha, pela sala, pelo quintal. Não tinha por onde ver o Kelvin com aquele skate na mão. O pai dele deu de presente para ele, nossa, muita alegria, muita alegria para ele. Eu nunca vi o Kelvin tão feliz no dia que ele ganhou esse skate. Till today, they don't have skate park there. Till today. My dad and me like uh, talking like yesterday about it. Like man, like we were like kind of crazy like to build this quarter pipe because we didn't know like how to build like anything. Look at that quarter pipe, it's so ugly. O que eu ele o progresso dele era foi muito rápido, muito assim que eu posso falar quase na instantânea. Quando a gente foi o primeiro, quando veio o primeiro skate para ele, ele já ficou em pé, ele já conseguia ficar em pé sozinho, remar sozinho, então a evolução dele foi muito rápida. I think my first sponsor was a, a skate shop, a local skate shop. Like in my hometown had like a, a mini ramp, and the mini ramp was the first contest the like the skate shop had, and like I got second on my my first like competition ever. And uh, I got sponsored from that day, you know, it was really crazy because I didn't like know how to skateboard that much, but like, I don't know, I think I surprised the dude there. My dad was really hyped when I got my, my first sponsor, you know, like, yo, my kid got like the first sponsor, so let's bring him like to a bunch of contests. My like whole progression was my like uh, backyard, you know, like my, my kitchen. And like I was like learning every trick on that. I learned like everything on that and bring it to the skate contest in Sao Paulo. And everybody in Sao Paulo had like a skate park. I won like, I don't know, 99% of the contest, you know. I, I don't know how, but like was really like expiring. I'm like, fuck dude, I, I, I wanted to like be there, you know, like I wanna win, you know, I wanna win the contest. Kelvin's doing it, and a lot of other Brazilians are, you know, have the dream, and a lot of them are, are doing it, you know, and it, and it comes from them seeing other people go through it, and you know, and then believing in themselves, and then actually going and saying, hey, I can do it too, which is awesome to see. 2010, like that time, I was not the like like have that much money to my sponsors, and I, my friend Kyle, like, man, you need to come to California. There is the, you know, like the. The scene of the skateboarding, like, what the hell, California? I never heard about California, you know? Like, so how I I gonna like have some money to like go there, you know? So I work my ass off to be become a professional skateboarder. So that's like the main goal. Like, yeah, I mean, I need to be like a pro, yeah, like in Brazil. Das dificuldades que a gente tem aqui às vezes de peças, às vezes de pico, às vezes até de dinheiro mesmo, de deslocamento, cria uma geração de skatistas que quando você dá um pouquinho de condição para eles, seja aqui do Brasil ou fora, acabam explodindo, porque eles aprendem tanto a lidar de skate com as dificuldades, que quando você facilita um pouquinho a vida deles, a coisa explode, entendeu? Eu acho que isso é, o, é meio que a receita, assim, eles aprenderem muito na dificuldade e aí quando 
veio algum empurrãozinho, a coisa toma uma proporção grande. Em 2011, I went to Europe, like already pro. Everybody like, yeah, man, you you need like first to go to Europe, you know, like to show your skills, blah blah. So, ah, okay. So I went to Europe in uh, three countries over there, and I I won like all of it, you know. When I won like the Kimberly Diamond Cup that year in 2014, kind of like completely changed my life. Kelvin's getting back up there to turn it around again. Tommy's doing it. Oh my God! You have to be calm and cold and highly confident. You know, confidence comes from you know a lot of skateboarding and just getting solid on you know and, and knowing what you what you do. But then choosing the right tricks or thinking about okay, right now I need this or I need that, but being calm in the moment because it's high. Adrenaline, uh, you know, and when you're out there competing, you're just like, you know, you can be taken by emotions, right? It can control you by just like whatever, you know, you're like excited or you're anxious or maybe you're gonna, you know, slam or if you fall on something easy. So you gotta throw all those things away. And a lot of time that battle, most of the time, I mean, it's all mental, you know? So you definitely see the different uh, approaches from everyone and Kelvin's always one just like solid, you know, and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But most uh, often, it, it goes down. And what he knows how to do, he does, right? And, and and he can bring it when it's needed. And you know, it's not an easy thing. We're in the middle of all that. Ah, the first season was really nice. I was new on the league, and my first contest was in Barcelona. I got 12 place, and my second was in in LA. So I was like, okay, the next step, I want to go to the finals because, you know, is my goal now, go to the finals. And I got finals, so my next goal was be on the podium, you know, was like, okay, now I want to like have like that trophy, you know, I want that trophy. So I, I want it. Okay, my next step, I want to win the contest. And it happened. I got first on the Super Crown. Man, I think it was the best year of my life. I bought my house. I was good, like myself, Tampa. Pro 2016, I broke my leg. Really, really hard for me because I just won the World Championship, the Super Crown, to nothing, you know? It was the worst year of my life. <laughs> ah, it was really hard to come back because was not nor normal at all because I got a really bad injury. I broke my tibia, my my fibula, my my foot, my knee, everything. 2017, I came back and my first contest comeback was the X Games, and I won. You know, it was like okay, man. I think I'm ready. You know, again, was my good comeback. O Kelvin é inspiração, né, pro Mab? Para quem acompanha, quem viu ele, a, a, o jeito que ele começou no skate e quem ele se tornou no skate, eu acho que a maior ajuda que o skatista pode dar para o skate brasileiro ou para o skate em geral é inspirar novos skatistas. E o Kelvin é, sem dúvida nenhuma, fonte de inspiração para muita gente. Com referência nisso, logicamente, deixa a gente extremamente orgulhoso, né? tanto eu como a mulher dele de estar tá representando o Brasil no jogo de verão. I think to win this medal, I think as I mean that much. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> It's going to be hard, dude. I think uh, a lot of pressure like like in my shoulder and like all the skaters, you know, so to represent Brazil because Brazil everyone like talk about like how the skaters are in Brazil, how good it is. And like we need to prove that, you know. So I'm just gonna skate and have fun and do my best. So I think it's gonna be 
a normal contest and it's gonna be fun, I think, is the word that like, I want to say. Come on.